Good morning and once again welcome to K24 this morning. It's a Thursday and we get to re uh, discuss relationships today. Now if you're just joining us, you've missed a very interesting discussion earlier on about infidelity. And today we're just asking what happens in infidelity or rather what are some of the things that lead to infidelity and would you forgive your partner if they cheated on you? Joining me once again is uh, Pastor Emmanuel. We have Beatrice Muraguri and we have Benjamin Zulu, both are counselors. And we just left off um, with calls from, uh, mm -hmm. you know, two individuals, Abasto, who said, this has got a lot to do with spirituality as much mm -hmm. as we'd like to ignore it. Um, mm -hmm. Because for men, it happens externally, and for women, it happens internally. And it has, a, a lot happens. Um, so, Pasi, maybe before we move on to Purity, who called in from Nairobi, mm -hmm. just how, just because, you know, when, when someone is just about to cheat, things don't really hit them that hard. Because for them, they've seen a beautiful chick, or a beautiful guy, and this person is willing, and we have an opportunity. We're in Costo, it was a trip, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a business trip, and hey, I have a few hours to burn, so why not? So how, just how impactful is this? Because according to what Abasto has said, it's deep. I think it's very deep, yes. Um, I agree with him. I, I actually like some of the things he was saying, mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, the act of intimacy is an act of worship to God. Mm -hmm. I mean, he created you. Uh, to do it and he blessed you to do it so I really appreciated that um, one of the things that I have come to learn about why infidelity happens uh, the first step is that there's something that draws you away from your exclusive partner okay mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a frustration with them whether it's you know your interest in them mm -hmm. uh, and this draws you away from them. Yeah. And then when you're out there, uh, something attracts you uh, to someone else or to something else. And uh, then now the pursuit of that uh, is what leads to, to, to you know, infidelity. Um, and actually, it, it, it is very deep because what you're doing, especially if you're mm -hmm. married, mm -hmm. uh, is that you as one unit are violating that one unit. Right. So you're not only violating yourself, you're not only violating them, but you're also violating God. Actually, Paul says in Corinthians mm -hmm. that infidelity is the only sin, uh, uh, actually not infidelity, uh, adultery, mm -hmm. fornication, mm -hmm. is the only sin that you do not just commit against God, mm -hmm. but you commit against yourself and against the person that you did it with. Okay. Uh, so, yes, it is very deep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Beatrice, probably you'll comment on this as well, because mm -hmm. when we, uh, Purity, when Purity called in, mm -hmm. she said that we should probably even have a further discussion mm -hmm. what happens after infidelity. Mm -hmm. And I could feel as though she's, uh, you know, she's, she's struggling with that particular issue. So, mm -hmm. probably you can mention on that. What happens after infidelity? Mm -hmm. Now, that's a very good question. In life, there are so many losses. And this one happens to be one of the losses. And um, when people die, mm -hmm. We take them through loss and grief. Mm. In this situation, mm. when your spouse cheats, first of all, you need to mourn that. Mm. And the way you mourn that, uh, should be very, you should be very careful because you should try to balance mm. your anger and the need to get the reason why uh, this happened. Because when people discover that they have been cheated on, they arrange, they, they throw tantrums, so even when the person who cheated wanted to disclose information, yeah. they cannot even have the forum to do so because we are all about throwing tantrums and all that. Huh? Um, please get an opportunity of mourning, and even mourning separately. And uh, even if it means that having a break out of the relationship, okay, you can still be, I'm not saying that you pack your things and go. Because actually... <laughs> yeah, because that, that, that's that scary. The, that, yeah, that's what people do. Uh, yeah. When this thing happens, they, they just pack and they are all and over. And become a mayaki. And by the way... Something else I, I should also caution, either side. If such a thing happens, be very careful on the way we, you broadcast this information. Because when we are angry, you are about to pick the, the, the phone and you are like, you are calling my, your mother-in-law. You know what? Eh? I didn't know that I was getting involved with your son who is, who is a cheater. Who is, who is a cheat. Mm. Who, and then in today's language, who is a fissy. Mm. So, <laughs> uh, 
after that, because you're not going to, uh, this relationship will not come to an end. Eh? Mm -hmm. After that, you have already defamed your spouse. How are you going to sell your spouse again, again. to your people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as you mourn and as you share this information, look for the uh, for a person who you know very well will not put a billboard of the whole issue mm -hmm. because. Um, <laughs> yeah, putting a billboard. <laughs> and again, don't also go on social media uh, mm. discussing or uh, mm. uh, making comments showing that really it has really happened because you are doing a damage that you will not be able to correct after that. Another thing that people should be very, very careful to, not to do is to ensure that uh, however hurt you are, uh, leave children out of this. Do not allow your children to know that your mom, I mean their mom or their dad has done, has gone out of, uh, I mean, out Marriage. of the way a bit. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it is you who have been offended and the relationship between you is the one that is going to be faulted. You as at one point, you may separate at one point, but there's one thing you never change. This remains their dad, this remains their father. So whichever action you are going to take, as far as uh, dealing with this issue is concerned, mm. ensure that you caution the kids out of this. Okay. And then as far as um, um, taking care of your emotions uh, is concerned, try to get somebody mm -hmm. to work with you during this time. Okay. It could be a counselor. And the counselor I'm talking about here, if there are some people who are not comfortable, uh, comfortable seeing counselors mm -hmm. because the moment they see counselors, they think that they are, they are, I mean, they are getting out crazy. Of, uh, mm -hmm. They are getting crazy. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. If you are not comfortable, get even to a man of God, a woman of God, or somebody of integrity that you feel that they will give you what you call unconditional positive regard. Mm -hmm. What you mean by unconditional positive regard, uh, Mr. Booby, is this: that when I come and tell you, you know what, I realize that my husband has been cheating. Mm -hmm. So. To show unconditional positive regard, I will not ask you these questions. Anakuacha, kwani wewe ukona mnagani, kwani your game is just so down, kwani you have not been able to, kwani you don't know how to keep a man, you don't know how to treat a woman. So when you don't accord a person unconditional positive regard, you already judge them and you will not be able to work with them. Okay. And lastly, uh, for the viewer who accord that, I mean, who called and, uh, and actually raised this issue, mm -hmm. please do not have what you call victim mentality. Yes. Because when this happens, even if the reasons of cheating are without the family, you are like, okay, so I'm now this bad. Mm. You start rejecting yourself. I'm useless. Even in the church, even if you have not told people what is going through. Even you, you are, go to the fellowship, you are asked a question, oh, they're asking me because I know that this guy, you know, that victim. <laughs> so you, 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 get, you, you, you fall down or uh, uh, along the streets of Nairobi, mm. it's simply because I'm now in this spirit of rejection. Mm. No. Uh, rise up and start walking. Mm. Fail forward instead of failing backward. Failing okay. forward in this means eh, you'll be able to, first of all, separate whatever happened and the person. Mm. Because if you don't separate what <laughs> happened with the person, even when they will call for, for forgiveness mm -hmm. and reconciliation as Bubi, I mean, as uh, Zul is going to take us through that mm -hmm. uh, later, mm -hmm. you always be, I mean, in your mind, you yeah. always be, su be suspecting them. They okay. come late, mm -hmm. and since you're not able to separate them with whatever they did, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm a pitiya kwa nyambu, I'm a kwa atis. Uko ndiko yuko saai. Uko ndiko yuko saai. Ah, yeah. So, yeah. Benjamin, there's something you said uh, mm -hmm. when we were off it. air. Mm -hmm. uh, probably you can just recap on that, and then yeah. we can move on. All right, I was, um, we said, should you forgive? You must never ask whether you will forgive. Forgiveness is mandatory for your own healing. Forgive everybody who offends you, whether they apologize or they don't. You, when you forgive, you let go of the wish to revenge, of the wish for them to be punished. Mm -hmm. The thing that God tells you to forgive, and, but he doesn't tell you to trust. When it comes to reconcil reconciling, let the person win your trust back. Yeah. It's about how they behave. So whether I will reconcile with you depends on your behavior after you have offended me. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that uh, when, when an affair happens, when uh, uh, this betrayal, you lose many things. You lose your sense of specialness to this yeah. person. Mm -hmm. They had called you queen, king. Now mm -hmm. they can't call you that mm -hmm. because there's another now. Mm -hmm. You also lose your illusion of the sanctity of marriage, the sanctity of our relationship. Mm -hmm. You might also lose your belief in the order in the world doesn't pay to be a nice person, doesn't pay to be faithful, you still mm. be kicked in the face. Mm. Yeah. If you're not, all those emotions are normal. You, they, they will come upon you the moment you realize the revelation of having been cheated come. But you, what you need to realize is they are human, they are normal, but you don't need to come there. 
I mean, let them wash over you. Don't sink in them. Let them wash over you. You don't get to over. You don't get an over an affair. You integrate it. Mm. As, as though it's an experience you went through, it's a chance for you to learn. And many times, cheating is not a matter of lack of love. They could actually love you, but they just maybe lacked respect. Yeah. Or they have a sense inside themselves, mm. an emptiness. Mm. And they were so afraid that if they continue being intimate with you, mm. you, can, you get to know that they are fake inside. They are insecure. There is a problem they are trying to hide. Mm. So they went to another person to avoid this getting deep enough for you to sense that they are afraid of being loved. Mm. And we said love is both a feeling and a decision and a concept. Right. You don't choose a person whom you don't feel. Okay. And you don't just choose... Uh, when after you feel a person and you choose them, next is a concept. What do you expect from love? Mm -hmm. What's what, uh, what your idea of love? What do you expect from it yourself? Mm -hmm. So I tell people, when you're dating, Sikiza Uyumutu and my ideas gani about love, a guy who says men were meant to be polygamous, he will one day mm -hmm. feel entitled mm -hmm. to go out. To go and a cheat. woman who says, I expect me, Miss Dani, one of It rains everywhere. All oh, men are cheats. Mm -hmm. She will never trust you even if you're not cheating. <laughs> and sometimes you can push your man to cheating by just yeah. treating Those, him like he's cheating. You're yeah. already punishing me. I'm, mm. I'm already being cheated. And, and I'm, I'm, being, I'm being very faithful. So I might as well just do it so that I'm to whipped. legitimize. <laughs> okay. Mm. I understand we have a, a, a WhatsApp message here that might actually need your uh, input. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, morning. What about your husband's ex who have uh, a kid they, with... They uh, have, yeah. Who they have a kid. Okay. Morning. What about your husband's ex? who have a kid with, and they keep on posting your husband, Kwasteta saying how much she loves him, now kueka caption, yeah, that's my family. I asked my husband, and uh, he said that she doesn't have control of what she posts. But I feel maybe he entertains her, and that's why she keeps on posting him. <laughs> uh, Benja, <laughs> before I let the pastor <laughs> comment on this one, because I think he might have an answer to this one, what do you have to say about that situation? She's asking, when will these games stop? Mm. And I'm telling her, they will stop when you stop playing. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you're saying that she's playing along yes, with Yes, she's, she's entertaining it. Mm. Yeah. Let me announce to people that you must never let people think that you are desperate without them. Yeah. Mm. Let people know that I choose to stay with you, but it's not because I have no choice. Mm. Mm. And I expect us to be committed both and to co continue choosing each other day by day mm. and behaving in a way that gives us the exclusivity. Mm. If you continue entertaining, you mm. continue as a person. I thought mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. so you cannot shame me and we are together. If you had a past, you had a child, we must close that chapter and mm -hmm. say, what are the dealings? I advise men to let this wife mm -hmm. now deal with that child who you had before mm -hmm. so that you are protected. Mm -hmm. Because if you continue going back, the two women will start fighting. That mm -hmm. one will start getting back at this one through you. Mm -hmm. Like in Sasa, Kama, for example, Nikona, um, uh, uh, you know, Beatrice is my ex. And now I, I have a mama Davina. But she keeps on texting, I mean, sorry, posting on social media, me and with the baby. Like, you are not oh, family anymore. My family. Mm. That's oh, a baby daddy, not my family. King. Mm. So what do so, I do? So, so you know what, Bovia? <laughs> yes. Um, I think her, situ whoever, her or his situation mm -hmm. is very unfortunate. Huh? Mm. The truth is, there is nothing you can do about someone else. Mm. The only thing that you can deal with and the mm. only thing that you can control mm. is how you respond mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. changing yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the truth is, how, first of all, do you know that this woman mm -hmm. is, keeps posting them and whatever? I'm sure some people probably are telling her, mm. I don't know if she follows this person. Maybe she has a pseudo account for you know, this yeah, uh, woman. Yeah. Mm. And it typically happens in that manner. Mm. But I think for your own health, for your mm. own whatever, saf safety, yeah. it's important for you to just cut off mm -hmm. from that. Uh, mm -hmm. If your husband is, uh, you know, for real in that, you know, he does not have any dealings with, mm. with her, mm. then you should be secure in your relationship. Mm. And he should also mm -hmm. uh, create a, an atmosphere where there's mm. security, mm -hmm. you know, within the assurance. relationship. Mm. The truth is that baby belongs to him. So they will have to relate with each other mm -hmm. uh, anyway because of that child. He cannot abandon the child. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think it's about, one, setting boundaries mm -hmm. as, as couples, mm -hmm. uh, saying when and what you can do. Mm -hmm. um, and also just, you know, just uh, coming to an agreement. Yeah. Uh, first of all, you, can't, you have to be very open mm -hmm. uh, with every dealing mm -hmm. with this person. You cannot delete, you cannot do this. You mm -hmm. can, everything has to be quite open mm -hmm. uh, in your dealings because this person, obviously, 
mm -hmm. uh, has still feelings for you to post uh, you know those kinds your of pictures na kuna kitu atijasaidia huyo mtu ameuliza kwa sababu pastor if your wife had a kid with another guy for example mm -hmm. and now unasikia bado unapostiwa huko na huyo jamaa mm -hmm. pamoja na huyo mtoto akisema this is my family mm -hmm. but now you are my wife already mm -hmm. i want to entertain that mm -hmm. but if we are coming together i want to know okay you had a past you had a baby daddy mm -hmm. what's all be going on between mm -hmm. you and the baby daddy from mm -hmm. now is mm -hmm. that relationship between you and mm -hmm. that baby mama or baby daddy mm -hmm. or it's just you and the child mm -hmm. no the thing is the thing is the child he'll have a relationship with the child mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. because that mother is taking care of that child mm -hmm. that child is uh, that mother is the guardian legal guardian and will have you know do all the dealing mm -hmm. if it's school fees mm -hmm. if it's whatever mm -hmm. for the child she is the one who takes it it's not the kid who takes that money so he has to have dealings that's why i'm saying it's important for you to set boundaries mm -hmm. uh, and say okay this is where you'll deal and mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. has to be do open. you understand you're affecting the reputation of this spouse Mm. When you keep posting my spouse that with is. your child on social media, but, but, but you can't I, I, do I, I, anything I about like, that. I feel like that's her intention. I'm a bit yes, yes, her. but you can't do she, anything she, about. She wants to you break can't this make them do anything. New marriage. I can't um. come and make you do anything, Benjamin. If I'm supporting the child, I'll give you instructions. Don't mm. post me calling me your family. I have another family. You're destroying my family. Mm. <laughs> if I'm going <laughs> to support this child, you're going to tore the line. As Poski, I pull out. I have something you can do. Beatrice okay. is burning but who's, answer. Who's hurting? Okay, there's one thing I would like to say. Uh, number one, we can never give uh, therapy on a hearted person. Yes, Because yeah. there are so many questions you can, you can ask about that statement. Mm. Um, as far as this issue is concerned, eh, there is always a catalyst behind any consistency of a certain behavior. Mm. Okay. You post today, tomorrow, there is a way that, number one, the person posting is expecting a certain feedback. And for him, for him or her to post tomorrow, mm. the response that he or she was given today. Mm. In psychology, there is something we call uh, fatigue. Fatigue is one way of shaping behavior. Yeah. When a child cries so much, sometimes we leave Davina on the, on the, on the floor mm. to cry, okay. if you show that you are not paying so much attention to that, eh, one day they will get fatigued and they will stop it. Mm. Then... As far as the, the issue of uh, baby daddy is concerned, eh? mm. we need to stop giving mixed signals. Nimekuwacha, sijakuwacha. Nimekuwacha is a... Kama ni communication inaisha kabisa. As far as exes are concerned, even if there was a baby that was involved, you find other means of actually taking care of... of okay, I'm not saying that children be abandoned, eh? but then there be a highway or a forum whereby that kid will be assisted. Yeah. And... Everything starts with a family constitution. Yes. The one that you make with your wife or with your husband as you are starting. And uh, Zulu said a very important thing, that we declare what we, the languages we have uh, as mm. we get into a new relationship. Mm. But uh, Bubi, let me ask you, how mm. many people are willing to declare whatever they had or they did in, the, in, in courtship? Mm. My friend, these things they can't show along the way. When you are in the second stage of marriage that is a, a reality, when responsibilities are being paid, I mean, are, 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 are showing up, when the baby comes in, and that's when you even get to realize that there were other babies that were born, I mean, before you actually met. But the thing is, does these things that crop up um, uh, uh, destroy, uh, are they bound to destroy your relationship? Mm -hmm. um, he said that um, it's not what happens. It's how you react to whatever happens. Patrice, you're yeah. kidding me. You're saying we can have children there and they did not say? Really? Uh, I marry oh, you. Yes. Uh, uh, my, okay, oh, I'm, yes. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it oh, happens, yes. but we should not normalize it. It happens, but we should not normalize but it. We, we are not normalizing. We're not normalizing it. Uh, we what? are saying mm -hmm. it exists. And that while you're in marriage, mm -hmm. All of a sudden you hear or you get something in your mm. uh, you know uh you're being there's a court order mm. for you to go and uh, you appear. Know, support appear because it happens so more often than you think Zulu. and then it's a betrayal of trust let's it call is. it what it is it Zulu. is but you see but you see here's the thing mm. and, and 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 it's not to excuse mm. people the, the unfortunate thing is if I came to share my sins, mm. uh, I have to be very careful who I'm sharing my sins with mm -hmm. because it depends on how it's received. Mm -hmm. If you start with a judge, judgment, judgmental feeling, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I will withdraw back mm. uh, from sharing with you. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people... Then go ahead and marry me. I'm talking about <laughs> dating now. <laughs> if you are dating, <laughs> declare your children, my friend. <laughs> you can't come no, here with no, hidden children. What I'm saying, it's important. Mm. That's what she said. Can I it's important to, this as a woman to, now? to mm. date. Can I, react to I this? mean, it's important to declare. That's what she said. Mm? It's important to, to declare. declare. Mm. Unfortunately, she said that People it don't. is when in your you're in your second stage. Uh, reality or uh, drama stage mm. that you know people start declaring and things start you know falling off the off. yeah yeah uh, before because there's a last question i want us yeah, to tackle please, please, so please. yeah uh, i am the only woman in the set 
-hmm. And I'm now attacking this, not attacking, approaching this question, mm -hmm. uh, this issue, as a woman, not now as a psychologist. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Women have been hiding children that they have had before. Mm -hmm. um, but ask yourself, what is the origin of this vice? Every man is saying that they want a wife material. Mm -hmm. A woman of integrity. Mm -hmm. That is a man saying that. Mm -hmm. But what will happen to those girls who you also ruined their lives and they want, also want to get married? <laughs> when you will hear about what I do and Anani, what I do and So you find that somebody is feeling, uh, fearing to declare mm. that they have a kid for the fear of being rejected at that point, for right. the fear of being labeled a little bear mapema. Ninaona uyo manamke mwenye na post mabwana za wenyewe. Huyo akona tu, kuna kitu anataka kufanya. Akona dinayo. And I destroy the other marriage. No, yes. she's working there at night. She's on a mission. Mm, yeah. She's destroy. on a mission. But the other now, the other lady, mm. plus the wife and the husband now, mm. they can choose whether, to they are, whether their relationship will be ruined mm. or not, depending Aye. on how they are approach, going to approach the issue. And that's why I said WhatsApp openness message. and the boundaries mm -hmm. yeah. is very important. Let's check out one WhatsApp message as we wind up the show. Kuna mtu anasema, yes, I will forgive. Forgiveness is healthy. Feelings of anger and bitterness affect your physical and mental health. Forgiving releases this and improves your health in the following ways. Less anxiety, stress and hostility, lower blood pressure. Okay, thank you very much for that. There's a lady who texted the first one who said that her husband has cheated four times and she just wants to know now what next. Maybe in just about 30 seconds, how do we help this mother? Uh, we say that uh, in a, once you get a good person to marry, mm -hmm. proceed and do the next thing you do when you buy a good phone. Install settings, set a standard for that relationship. Mm -hmm. Pass a constitution that this is where I expect us to be at. And if you violate, these are the consequences. By the time he cheats four times, there were no consequences the first time, no consequences the second time, no consequences that time. That you, you sort of allowed this behavior when you did not punish it. So what I, what, what I uh, advise all of us is, once you get into a relationship, set the minimum expected. And after it is violated, make sure, yes, there'll be reconciliation, but let, let the person know there are repercussions okay. to violating our standards. All right. Uh, you, you, Beatrice, uh, as well, or how, how okay. should she handle that situation? Four the times. Fre the frequency, the frequency mm. of, uh, of, of whatever is happening here. Mm. I would like uh, to uh, uh, employ something else we call a family pattern. Probably, there's something, when something goes beyond normal, normal, normal rage, we mm. call it pathological. Mm -hmm. This is now going to pathological cheating. Mm. Could, we, could, we, could we dig deeper and find out there are other underlying forces that maybe will be coming mm. uh, from the family level? Mm -hmm. There's always that, uh, that, that, that issue of turning. Mm -hmm. You find that this person could not, probably they are not suffering from from themselves at that point in time. Yeah. They are suffering from actually where they, have ca they, they are coming from. Mm -hmm. And again, according to social learning theory, mm -hmm. there is something they had seen probably mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. they were growing up. All right. Mm -hmm. We have a question for Pasi as well on WhatsApp. Let's take a look at what this person is saying. You talked about forgiveness. How about now when it happens not once, you forgive the first time and believe uh, she's changing, the second comes again, she becomes remorseful and attempts uh, to change, then the third comes again. How will you handle this? Jesus said, forgive seven times, 70 times, Pasi. <laughs> so should he wait until the 71st time, Mama? Uh, no. Uh -huh. uh, I, um, I think, no, forgiveness, regardless, mm. you will have to forgive. Uh, but just, again, to get borrow from this too, mm -hmm. uh, what he said was very important. Huh? Right. Sometimes it's a repeated thing. Uh, because there was no repercussions mm -hmm. the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were just like, okay, I got away with it. I can do it again. Mm -hmm. I got away with it. Mm -hmm. I can do it again. I'm right. still here. I got away with it. Mm -hmm. I can do it again. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's also important for her to know that if it's something that is going on, again, it's this what she said, you know, the, the family patterns, mm -hmm. or in, in, in Christianese, we call generational curses. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so it's something that, you know, and I always say, uh, the, the psychologist, the counseling psychologist, the clinical psychologist will tell you this, that for every uh, presenting issue, there's an underlying issue. Uh, there's a brokenness that we are going through, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's, you know, uh, psychological, whether it's spiritual, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it is, it's causing you to lean towards that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something that you're missing, that mm -hmm. this is giving you a high mm -hmm. and filling mm -hmm. that particular void, and you need to figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, both of you need to figure it out mm -hmm. so that you can arrest it, so mm -hmm. that your relationship can be restored. Okay. 
Yeah. Wow. That was um, absolutely refreshing. We have one more WhatsApp as we wind up. And this is what it says. Yes, you can forgive your spouse if they are truly sorry of what they did. Forgiveness shows that you are strong enough and not weak. Separate the action from the person and love them for who they are. And that is exactly what Benjamin and, of course, uh, you said earlier on. Forgiveness at the end of the day is what you need. Reconciliation, of course, comes um, as time goes by. Unfortunately, folks, we've come to the end of the show. Thank you very much for that discussion. I think we shall continue uh, probably next time and talk about post-infidelity. Mm -hmm. But probably if someone wants to reach you, mm -hmm. um, how can they reach mm -hmm. you? Benjamin Zulu KE. That's mm -hmm. our social media. Uh, Benjamin Zulu KE email. Benjamin mm -hmm. Zulu KE at Gmail. Thank All you. right. Um, Beatrice, if they want to reach you for the book, how do they reach you? I'll give my number. Mm -hmm. 0721. 96 400 and they can also find me in East Africa mm -hmm. Institute of Professional Counseling. All right. Yes. Okay. Mm. Pasi as well to kupata namna gani. Awesome. For me you can reach me on uh, social media Ivao. Uh, mm -hmm. Ivao is one word. Uh, yeah, so on Facebook it's Ivao, on mm -hmm. Instagram is at what I vow, on Twitter it's at what I vow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and we'll love to talk to you and yeah. about your relationships. All right, there you have it. If you want to get a hotbed of success by Beatrice Muraguri, please holla. We shall definitely sort you out on that. Meanwhile, thank you very much for tuning in. And of course, thank you for joining the discussion in Fidelity in Marriage. I see us having a follow-up probably next week. God uh, willing. Until that time, it's been real. Hasta la vista.